In this video, I'm going to show you how to install a new version of ArcOS simply because the old one is uh, obsolete right at the moment and the project has been discontinued. Luckily, there's another project on GitHub which took over the uh, existing one and it's uh, promising to continue it. So that's why I'm going to show you in this video how to uh, install the new Arc OS, which is called Arc 4 OS clone, on the R. 36s device. Before you start, so I have an SD card already plugged in, but you need to take it out and insert it into your com computer. Now, in order to get the R36s firmware, you need to navigate to the Arc 4OS clone uh, GitHub page, which is this one. And you'll also get the link in the description down below. And practically, you can read whatever they have in here. They support uh, quite some uh, devices and they also have the motivation of the project and stuff like that. But you'll just uh, generally need to go to the releases. And um, I used Mega to download this. Download the whole thing uh, into your home folder. It will take a couple of uh, minutes maybe. Then uh, you will need to flash the device uh, SD card. And you will then need to do some configuration in order to make it uh, work properly. But I will show you. The ArcOS image from the Mega was downloaded right here and you should uh, be able to check it. It has like 4 gigs, which is good. The next thing that you need to make sure is that you have the software to flash it. Now, uh, usually I use the Raspberry Pi Imager, which you can search for it and download it from the Raspberry Pi website. I use the Linux as a first class citizen, but that shouldn't be a problem for you if you are using Windows or Mac OS, the process stays the same. After you download and install the Raspberry Pi Imager, or you can try your own Imager if you are feeling adventurous, it's uh, time to flash your SD card. So make sure you have the SD card plugged in into your computer. Once you plug in in you need to make sure that you select the right storage so in your raspberry pi imager or whatever imager you are using i need to select the internal um, sd card reader and then in the os part i will need to navigate and choose the r4os clone now um, with the right command I'm going to wipe out everything which is on the internal SD card reader and um, that's why it's asking me if I want to continue and you will pre press yes and then the flash will be uh, starting and wait for it to finish. Now once the flash process is complete, you need to insert the SD card back into your uh, laptop or computer. Then you will have to see your uh, three partitions, which is uh, the first one is boot, easy rooms and the root. You will need to tweak it a little bit before inserting your SD card into the device. So if you see the boot partition, then in, um, you will get some instructions. If you check out the GitHub page, they say that you, you will need to use the DTB selector to select the corresponding device. But if you are a non-Windows user just like me, you will need to copy some uh, some files over to the root uh, partition in order to make it uh, to make it uh, work. Now, uh, you what you need to do. First, you need to call get uh, the files from consoles and your hardware. So in this case, I'm talking about R36S. Now beforehand, I tried, um, you can see these folders right here. They all belong to the original R36S, but there are some clones called Soysos, Panel 5, R36S and uh, the Panel 6. 
to me only the panel um, 5 worked so what I did was to just copy these files go to the boot folder replace if necessary and then according to the instructions we will need to do to copy the image from the kernel common no let's see if we go to the kernel common we will see an image file but if you paid attention we copied the soy sauce panel this is the number five so the image which is uh, in the common folder will not work so that's why you need to go to the soy sauce folder and copy this file back to the root in the boot folder right here cool now the last step that we need to do is to copy the uh, logo image just into the directory of this uh, partition and if we go into the logo folder consoles logo you have four folders so um, for the r36s you just need to pick up the first one the 480 so you need to ensure that the resolution is matching the screen size of the device that is r36s so now we have uh, for the r36s we have the 640 by 480 which is cool and we practically just this file we copy it over onto the uh, root folder and according to the page it's now complete we need to unmount the s card and then we will insert it into the handheld now it's time to test your r36s installation so just grab your sd card from your computer and plug it in inside the device and then you can turn on your device now the thing is that i already um, tested out so first boot will be longer but in my case it's just one uh, couple of seconds and you can see the arc 4 os clone right here good now the system is initializing emulation station starting up and then we are ready to roll and if you go to the start you would see the r4os clone right here with the version and the commit id i think that is and what is super super nice is that wi-fi is really working very well so if you plug it uh, your Wi-Fi dongle in you just need to go to the options you can then toggle the Wi-Fi enable the Wi-Fi it says it's connected let's see if you want to check the connection status you go into the options and select network info and we can see that i am connected i have a gateway i have ip i have everything i need now as with the other videos it's time for you to install games with port masters you check my other videos there are um, a couple of instructions on how to install the games with port master and see you there on my channel and hope you found this useful and if you did don't forget to subscribe to my channel thank you so much